Good afternoon, and thank you all for joining us today. I am Nin Desai, and I will be your host. I started my professional career at Merrill Lynch with a private client group. At Merrill, we manage portfolios of high net worth individuals. While it was great to trade stocks and bonds, I was always curious about how these companies went public. Thus, after business school, I joined Pacific Crest Securities. PCS is a tech-focused investment bank with a global presence focused on software, communications, semiconductors, and internet and digital media. Here are a few transactions I worked on at PCS. In 2005, IPOs were at the peak, and it was amazing to take all these companies public. But then led to another question. How do VCs know what companies to invest in and which ones to take public? Thus, I joined Alpha Capital Partners. Alpha is a journalist fund with about $135 million of assets under management. My most recent transaction at Alpha was Surfcon, a software-as-a-service provider company. The 2008 financial meltdown led to a liquidity crisis for entrepreneurs, companies, LPs, and VCs. Fewer IPOs in the market means no exit for VCs, no returns for LPs, and as a result, venture funds were on a decline. No new funds means less startup funding, low employment, and slow economic growth. Thus, on April 5, 2012, the Jumpstart Our Business Startup Act, or the Jobs Act, was introduced, which enables crowdfunding for all Americans, and that's how NIN Ventures, or NIN.VC, came into existence. NIN Ventures is a crowdfunded technology venture capital firm that is offering membership interest under the Jobs Act and Regulation D of the U.S. Securities Act of 1933. NIN.VC invests in Series A and B rounds of 3D printing, fourth industrial revolution, cloud computing, financial services, education software, and other disruptive technology companies. NIN.VC is unique and first of its kind attempt to bring venture capital retail and give people the freedom to directly invest in a fund with the amount of their choice, which also leads to a better financial reward system. This offering is made via general solicitation and general advertising, which is permitted by Rule 506C as contemplated by Title II of the Jobs Act. This rule came into effect September 23rd, and we were the first ones to go live with the website and videos about our fund. NIN Ventures also became the first venture fund to be seen on a billboard, which was followed by in-app ads and other social media facilitated marketing. Learn more about us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or NIN Ventures TV. Since then, NIN.VC has been the recipient of numerous awards, and I was awarded 2015 CEO of the Year Illinois for Innovation Contribution to the venture capital and private equity industry including Private Equity Fund Manager to Watch for 2017 by Corporate America. What is NIN Ventures Investment Strategy? At NIN.VC, it all starts with a disruptive technology. A disruptive technology is an innovation that changes an existing industry and creates new value networks, displacing earlier technologies or way of doing business, just like how we're changing the venture capital industry. And in that we see, we invest in an entrepreneur because entrepreneurs build companies and not the other way around. Being an entrepreneur is the hardest job in the world, and entrepreneurs face various challenges when it comes to taking their disruptive technologies to market. The few attributes that we look for in an entrepreneur is the ability to dream big, experience and expertise in the industry, ability to communicate with the team and outside, Flexibility to adapt to a fast-changing environment and certain personality traits like being focused, dedicated, disciplined, and hardworking to accomplish their goals. As long as the company has certain ingredients like a good management team, a technology, a viable product, and a revenue-generating strategy that form a basic foundation that leads to long-term success. We at NIN.VC like to invest in companies that are going to stand the test of time. The market is flooded with various funding options from angels to VCs to crowdfunding portals. So how does one know which, one, which option to pick? I come from an entrepreneur family, so I can speak on their behalf. Entrepreneurs are brave and courageous bunch that are determined to change the way 
and existing industry functions. On that journey, they need a lot more than just financing. They need guidance or domain expertise, help with PR and marketing, recruiting, viable exit strategy, more often follow-up financing, which crowdfunding portals are not able to support. On the other hand, crowdfunding exposed investors to a whole new asset class, which the normal population never had the knowledge or expertise to invest in. About 99% of startups fail. On top of that, low minimum investments like $1,000 does not give them a say or a board seat, putting investors at a high degree of risk. At Lin.VC, we solve all those issues. We provide diversification, we take board seat on all our investments, and lend the necessary support that an entrepreneur needs to build a business like they would get at a traditional venture capital fund and are also in a position to gauge and be a part of the valuation process when it comes to addressing dilution and follow financing rounds. However, the most important part the investors care about is the ability to direct invest and direct enjoy returns, which is not the case with the traditional venture capital fund. Who can invest in in that VC? One must be an accredited investor and verify themselves as an accredited investor before they can invest is the Hint Ventures Technology QP Fund. An accredited investor is an individual with an income of more than 200000 per year or a joint income of 300000 in each of the last two years or has a net worth exceeding a million either individually or jointly with his or her spouse, excluding the primary residence. For an entity, any trust, its total assets in excess of $5 million qualifies. There are multiple ways to verify if you are an accredited investor. For individual, it's income, asset, and third-party verification. For entity, it's asset and third-party verification. Recently, SEC approved Title III Jobs Act, equity crowdfunding for non-accredited investors, which allows any U.S. citizen, regardless of income, to make direct investments in crowdfunding portal. However, investment in fund like ours is still limited to accredited investors. Given funds that are less risky or asset class compared to crowdfunding and companies, perhaps it's time to revisit the investor eligibility, alter the definition of a created investor, and make crowdfunding available for everyone. There are a wide range of options when it comes to investing in the Ministry of Technology QP Fund, using checking, savings, defined benefit plans, self-directed IRAs, and digital currencies. Now, now let's go through the investment process step by step in detail. The very first step is to visit NIN.VC and sign up. Sign up is simple. First name, last name, email, password, and acknowledge you are an accredited investor. Once you sign up, you get access to our marketing material, that is EPM, investor presentation, and other suggested readings. You can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with us at our office or online via Skype. Once you decide to make an investment, accept the risk and disclosure statement that will explain what venture capital investment is. The next step is to verify accreditation. Once that is in order, it's only a matter of filling out a subscription document and a W-9 form on www.nin.vc. The last step is payment, and it's as simple as selecting the payment method and the amount you wish to invest. We know that venture capital is a high-risk, high-reward investment vehicle, and we strongly recommend reviewing the other suggested readings on our website before making any investment decisions. Once again, thank you for being on the call. Sign up on NIN.VC to begin your investment process now. And feel free to reach us at contact at NIN.VC or 312 953 0930 to schedule one on one meeting with us or with any other questions and material requests. Have a wonderful day and happy investing.